Hold on, it's actually easier if I do this. Sorry, I need to make this readable. Hi, Billy Mac. There we go. In chat. All right. Okay, sick. All right. So yeah, tell us your story about this, because I know that uh, I know that you've, of course, you've told me about it already, but 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 I'm sure my chat would love to hear about it because I know your family has kind of gone on the Trump train. Uh, I mean, Jesus, uh, where do you want me to start? Cause... Well, uh, <laughs> start with how it, like, I guess, like give, give, give the viewers a summary of like where you, where your family started in like 2016, because I even remember that okay. in like 2016, you know what I mean? That was like, yeah. Well, really you jump ahead. It, it, it goes beyond, and before that, because my parents were so um, firmly anti-Obama. Yeah. Um, I, I grew up in a Fox News house, is how I like to put it. Uh, Fox News is always on. It, in fact, I, you know, I, I was living out in Seattle. I moved home to to Maine, um, and there were times where, like, I moved back in with them until I found my own place, and they would just like leave Fox News on for the, like to have noise in the house while they were gone because because of the dogs uh, -huh. uh and i would literally turn it because i didn't want the dogs to be brainwashed to fox news <laughs> um so uh fuck that shit anyway uh yeah no so so uh, probably 2016 was a was a real breaking point for that because like i said before that they were staunchly anti-obama um they were very pro george w bush before that uh but that's as far back as i remember really i mean like i was right-wing republican up until second term obama uh -huh. um just because how the, the the way that i was raised but uh yeah so so they they voted for mccain didn't like obama uh, my dad i'm pretty sure is a birther uh so uh, and, and all that stupid fucking shit that goes with that. So 2016 rolls along. Um, I don't even know how they got on the Trump train, to be honest, anymore. Like, it's yeah. such a blur now because they're just so it's it's so weird. Right. Because my parents were always fucking smart. My like like I'm not going to I can't downplay them. My dad is is smart. He is a, a an engineer for General yeah. Electric. He's a smart fucking guy. Um I, it, they just bit into the the propaganda so much it, it makes me so upset <laughs> yeah um and, and my mom is I, she's not a smart person let me just put it that way uh in fact my mom hey everybody in chat my mom doesn't vote but she'll yell at me about voting for Biden. so uh <laughs> yeah. and, and i i should say at this point <laughs> at this point um uh, I should say I'm no contact with everybody in my family except for a grandmother on one side. And I have a large family. So that's how deep the Trump poison goes. Uh, was always kind of argumentative with them back yeah. in the day. I mean, I uh, even remember that. And just for context, like I grew up like we grew up together and like yes. I spent a lot of time with your family and they were they were political but not like super political they were like normie political you know they were like oh i don't really like what yeah. obama's doing for the taxes but that's about it yeah and it was it like, was like they never had big political yeah. discussions or anything occasionally you would argue but it wasn't like n no bad blood no there was never like an argument when it came to politics there was never an argument that lasted past an hour you know yeah. you'd argue about whatever bullshit taxes or health care or whatever and you'd have a discussion for an hour and then that was it um it was pretty normal like and you know how i was raised like yeah. my parents uh, like they raised me to to be like my mom always told me like make friends with everyone don't care about the religion love gay people love yep. trans people it doesn't matter who people are as long as they're people you just lo like be friends with them love them do you do you they do them and so like to see them go crazy from 2016 it's so it's insane i, yeah. I don't and i blame it totally on uh, Facebook and, and Fox news yeah, uh, and other things. But yeah, so 2016 rolled around, you know, they voted for Trump. I didn't really think anything of it. I don't think a lot of people thought much of voting for Trump back then because mm -hmm. it was still kind of like, whatever they voted for Trump. Like we didn't know he was going to be literally the worst president we've ever had. Yeah. Uh, even maybe worse than like actual racists that had slaves. I don't know, like yeah. maybe it's really hard to say. It's <laughs> um, so hard. To it's hard to that. say like if Trump is worse than Andrew Jackson or not, I don't know. I'm not going to make that call, but, um, <laughs> but like since then, like, you know, 
it, it, it went on. I moved out. I hadn't lived with them since I was 18. I lived with you uh, mm-hmm. in, in Seattle for, for a year and a few months. Moved back. And I think the first big thing that happened um, was I was I was getting in an argument with my uncle. And he called me a flag-burning member of Antifa. And this was, like, right after Antifa became, like, a, an actual colloquialism. Like a hot like something issue, you'd... yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like, right when that started. And I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Literally, like, and, and I remember my dad, like, butting into the conversation and being like, he voted for Obama. Don't even listen to him. Like, he doesn't actually know anything about the world because he voted for Obama. And that's the first time I was ever like, oh, this is, like, these people are just crazy. Yeah um so so recently to get into like the juicy stuff like the reason i went no contact uh with them is uh i i pretty much got uh kicked out of my living situation because of uh an argument that i had um with them over politics essentially i was not living with them at the time but i i was living with family and what pretty much happened was i just got in an argument with them uh, with with my mom specifically about something I can't even remember now, and it, it spiraled so far. Thing or something, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, actually, it, I had to tell her uh, that her friends on Facebook were anti-maskers because she didn't believe me. Um, Jesus, I think they are. I mean, I told you that my dad was considering selling his house that they've lived in for thirty years and moving close to Mar-a-Lago because uh, they he thinks that's going to be the new seat of governmental power what the in in the u.s because he thinks trump's gonna run the u.s from florida for some reason don't know couldn't tell you holy shit (laughs) um uh but (laughs) newsmax i don't know it's fucking crazy anyway um but yeah so we got in a a random argument and it, it just ended up like blowing up into this crazy thing uh i mean to the point where like it it's not a secret that i um i've been diagnosed with anxiety and depression i was on uh antidepressants for a little bit um and it got yeah yes no no absolutely no shame in that uh do what you need to to get help and in my case it was very simple it was just a pill that's all i needed but uh in my family's case that's it was a point to to shame me on um i think i told you that like I got in an argument with my mom and one of her, like one of her sticking points was that she said that like, anytime I ever talked about getting help for like my mental health, I never gave her credit for it, which might be the most selfish thing I've ever heard anyone say uh, any, anything I've ever heard anyone say ever. Yeah. Um, but uh, (laughs) I mean, I can't even like, uh, I can't, I'm sorry. I can't even formulate like a straight thought because this shit gets me like so fucking riled. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Um, However, uh, yeah, about, oh, geez, what, what fucking month is it? This was in September, I guess. Yeah. Um, I got kicked out of that living situation because I got in an argument with them. Uh, again, I over was living politics. with family. Over politics. Yes, over politics. Uh, mind you, this isn't the first time they threatened to do that. Back in, like, July, they threatened to kick me out or get me kicked out over something. That was in the middle of a raging, the raging coronavirus pandemic, which is worse now but back then it was bad yeah um and they wanted me literally to be on the street (laughs) during that just because of my difference in opinion um but fast forwarding to now like i went no contact because i got in an argument with them over the phone and uh they they literally have told the rest of my family and i have a big family like to family. go no contact with yeah. me because I'm a psycho. Like they, they told my family that I was a violent psychopath, which if you know me, you know, that's not true. <laughs> and isn't it because um, of like anti-abortion or something? That was a different thing. Uh, I've let's put it this way. I voted for Biden. Yeah. Biden is a pedophile in, uh, my, in their view. I see. Therefore, not only like the whole thing was not only am I a pedophile, like, apologist i may be one was something that my parents said about me to other family members like think about that for a second yeah like like, how do you look at your son and say oh i think he might be a pedo 
because of who he voted for for the president and yep. tell other members of the family that yeah like are you fucking kidding me it, uh, it's really weird how these sort of like shunning structures build in when there's like an echo chamber and everybody's listening to the exact same news source and they're all again just like we read on that post online of like um of like them all they all listen to the same podcast they all listen to the same news sources and it's just an echo chamber that constantly reinforces it's very cult-like yes yeah. Oh, a hundred percent. And I, I have no problem um, referring to them as mega cultists. Cause that's what yeah. I think they are. Uh, and a financially stable, sheltered somnia static. I am. And that's all thanks to my wonderful uh, uh, partner that I'm with right now. Yeah. Uh, honestly, if, if it was not for her, I would literally be homeless right now uh, because they did succeed in pestering me and making my living situation so bad that I had no choice other than to move out. Um, and and uh, keep in mind, like, like I said, I didn't live with them, but I lived with other family. And when I got in an argument with them, they would talk to my other family and make up all this shit and, and gaslight. And it all of a sudden became, you can't have an argument with this person. Because if I have an argument with this person, then the person that's technically my landlord hears about it and wants to kick me out. Imagine having an argument with your mom or your dad or your brother or what have you. And all of a sudden your landlord's like, yeah, you need to get out. Like it's, it's fucking crazy. It's insane. I don't, I don't know any other way to put it. Yeah, it is. It's, it's like, and I mean, I've, of course you've kept me updated and told me all of these like really weird things like your dad the time your dad was talking about how like he thinks that like california should be bombed by donald trump uh, right yeah yeah all that shit uh man my dad has said stuff like um back to back back uh, up until like two three years ago about um we should just nuke california fuck it Stuff like that. Like, oh, if they want to secede, uh, for some reason he thought California wanted to secede. I don't know why. But like, oh, if they want to secede, go Jesus. ahead. Let them see what a liberal paradise would be like. Blah, blah, blah. And it's like, you do understand that, like, California provides, like, 90% of America's total revenue. So them seceding from the USA would be fucking devastating. Like, it's, ah, they're so dumb. It makes me so mad. Yeah, it's really wild uh uh and again like it's like i mean fuck you know obviously because you've watched my stream and i keep up with you pretty frequently but like you know that like even my even my parents and my mom left a cult once already and yet like she's posting anti-mask stuff anti-vax anti-mask stuff that was written by anti-vaxxers like right. holy shit <laughs> not to put your mom on the spot yeah but uh i i remember last year uh <laughs> your mom and my mom are talking on Facebook and, and your mom was like something, something, something. He did this. And my mom was like, well, that's, he shouldn't do that. And then your mom was like, I never liked him even when he was a kid. And I was like, well, that's nice. What the fuck? <laughs> you don't remember that? I'll, I got screenshots. Somewhere yeah, there. no, I, I do like, vaguely recall that, fuck? but I'm like, I don't remember what fucking provoked that. So, such an asshole thing to say. What the fuck? I know. It's just like, wow, you didn't like me when I was like fucking 12. Yeah. Jesus, man. Like, it's come on. Fucking stupid as shit. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, true space concrete. Yeah, but they don't think about that because it's they're 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 just obsessed with worshiping Donald Trump, the ground Donald Trump walks on. Yeah. Oh, one hundred percent. I don't. Yeah. And keep I in mind, think. like these are people who, again, used to have uh most of my life had in, like the most healthy like social relations I can imagine. It's like, um, it's totally this like Fox News, Newsmax, OAN like disinfo cult and the facebook thing has just totally sucked people away from any perception of reality it's really right. terrifying facebook is evil um yeah jessica metal you see that doesn't matter because the millions of innocent people weren't innocent because they're democrats yeah they're democrats they these, voted for Biden, which makes see. them pedophiles yeah or baby murderers possibly. yeah yeah i two. remember uh, specifically before i moved west um i remember one night i was sitting in my living room with my mom and dad and my sister and uh, Fox News must have been on in the background. They were talking about abortion back when it was a real, real hot button issue that was always on the news. And I just remember I, I had to leave. I started laughing because my dad got so fucking pissed. And he was like, my sister was like, well, I don't see the problem with, with having an abortion 
if you were like the victim of sexual assault or something like that. And my dad got so fucking pissed. He was just like, they're killing babies. And he was like, so mad. I had to leave. It was insane. Like Holy I've never shit. seen, well, like, he's not even like your parents weren't even super religious growing up. Like my family was the religious no. family. I yeah. never went to church once with my parents. You went to, up. you went with me and mine. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's wild. It's, it's, it's insane. Um, more recently like it, they've just become so angry yeah uh at, at everyone and everything i haven't talked to them since before christmas so i don't know how they're handling biden's win oh boy um i'm sure they probably think it was stolen i don't know they sometimes they randomly latch on to mega talking points and sometimes they will like not believe them i, I don't get what it is but it really wouldn't surprise me if they were just full cult right now yep. um because uh i mean like i told you that like uh when i went no contact with with my uh parents it was over the phone and the reason i went no contact was because the argument i was having with them devolved into my mom making fun of the way i talk and telling me i sounded like a surfer dude from california and just going <laughs> Uh, and them yelling screaming at me because i lost my job uh at i i, I lost my job at a casino during covid because it shut down and i was furloughed and then eventually let go because they only brought back half their staff um and that was my fault apparently and i remember the the whole end of the conversation the last time i talked to my mom her just being like well, why don't you just get a fucking job, you fucking loser? And I just remember being like, you haven't had a job since 1986. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, it's... Yeah, literally, your mom... Oh, it just makes me job. want to bang my head against the gas. I, I mean, you've known my mom since you were 11. Like, she's never yeah. had a job. Yeah. She's had side shit, which she doesn't report to the IRS, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Lower out on that. Careful. The IRS is a dangerous <laughs> entity. I don't give a fuck. Look, my mom was a professional photographer and then she made stupid fucking cups for like two years. She made at least 10 K of that a year and never reported to the IRS. Fuck you. <sighs> Oof. Take that. Have fun. Yeah. Jesus Christ. And, and, and I have no problem saying this at all because the last things my parents did to me was threaten to find out where I live and beat the shit out of me. Oh and yeah. Didn't, that, your, dad that, also, that, didn't I, your dad also say he was going to drive down to DC yeah, my dad wanted to be part of the whole storming the Capitol thing. It's <laughs> uh, and and I don't know, man. It's 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 crazy. It's insane. Yeah. Um, I have no contact with them anymore, but like I'm safe. I they don't know where I live. Only one uh, family member knows where I live, and he wouldn't sell me out on yeah, that. So that's good at least. I trust that he wouldn't. Um, but hey, I'm not gonna be part of my sister's wedding in July. And that would have been tacky as hell anyway, because she's tacky as fuck. So I don't care. Damn. But true. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Not just to come in here and, and rag on my family, but you know, yeah. we gotta have well, some more. Well, I mean, something. I mean, they've threatened to beat the shit out of you for voting they, for yeah. Biden. He could. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. We're, we're the same like, age, Somnio. Yeah. So, so uh, I'm I'm 30, Somnio. So I don't know. I, I always like to throw it in their face, like. Uh, Hey, uh, th they always wanted to like physically check me. I, I is the way I put it. Um, I mean, you were you were there one time, like in our twenties, I think, where my dad like pushed me to the ground over some dumb shit. Oh um, yeah, that one night that I've repressed and just remembered. <laughs> but but it's it's to the point where they're like, ah, oh, you can't handle shit. Like they they told me like i can't get a job because i can't handle the stress of having a job and i'm pathetic and i'm like motherfucker i've been almost shot at at my job i've had a gun in my face at my job i've had knives pulled on me at my job so don't tell me jesus that i can't handle things it's and that's what my message is is these trumpers and these cultists they they do their best to find your insecurities and they pick at them and pick at them and pick at them sometimes in small ways and sometimes over years um, until you don't even know if it's something wrong with you or if you're being gaslit. And 
I realized earlier uh, last year that I was basically being, uh, I was a victim of gaslighting for a very long time. Yeah. Um, and I decided to not let it happen anymore. And hey, that's what happens. But sometimes if you have the means to get away from that situation, then do it. Because I, I couldn't be happier. Yeah, cutting toxic people out of your life is really difficult to do, but it is worth it. Like, especially when it's something like that, where it's like, it's a... Uh, they have a different perception of reality. So almost every conversation you end up having with them ends up being uh, them constantly assaulting your understanding of reality, which what, no matter how much verifying or non-verifying you do, it doesn't matter. They believe that there's a cabal of ped pedophiles and it's just like, yeah. Oh, yeah. For I sure. Never, I never mean, asked them sure. if they believed in Pizzagate. I'm sure yeah. they probably do. I mean, yeah. I mean, Pizzagate. I think was Biden like... is a pedophile. So, like, yeah. I, think I mean, Biden's that's a pedophile. Is like, uh, like that's like usually now some people come there because they're like, oh, he's been weird to people on stage or whatever. Yeah. But like, most I'm not gonna come there because of Q. So it's Biden like... is a Biden is a creepy old hair sniffing man. I can't say he's not. He definitely is. True. But True. that pedophile is a stretch. Yeah. Um, then again, they voted for Donald Trump, who might be possibly Donald Trump uh, famously maybe? quoted saying, ah, <laughs> Jeff, Jeff, Jeffy Epstein likes likes my likes girls even younger than I do. <laughs> Looking at the camera. Yeah. <laughs> right. Like they voted for a, a like a known daughter fucker. <laughs> so, yeah. It's very weird. I mean, yeah. 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 I don't know. Anyway, sexual that, assaultist. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, yeah. there's a, a bunch more like random little things, but that's pretty much it like essentially donald donald trump and uh his MAGA movement essentially mo ruined my relationship with my family yeah. um it's very sad uh yeah. but at the end of the day like I i'm a pretty big proponent in the fact that you get to choose your family like i don't give a fuck about blood um yeah. i don't give a shit if you're blood related to me mm -hmm. uh if you're an asshole then i don't want to know you but people like you mm -hmm. and people like my partner and um people like uh, our our longtime friend alex um mm -hmm. are those those are the people that are my family yeah. not not the people that gave birth to me that don't give a shit about me that wanted me to be homeless um, a quote from yeah. my mom is maybe if you're living on the street you'll realize that you should get a job so when you were fuck furloughed her. because of covid <laughs> right because yeah. your casino went under temporarily. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah. Well, hey, uh, thank you so much for coming on and sharing your story. I love you very much. And uh, let's talk soon, okay? Absolutely. Anytime you want. All right. Bye. Bye.